morning. We have two pages we need today for language, so make sure you get those out. Page 145 and 146. We're going to learn something very important today. We're learning about abbreviation or titles. Now, we can abbreviate. You see that big word? You can abbreviate or shorten many titles. A title describes a person, their job, or their position. Titles begin with a capital letter. Make sure you remember that. Okay? We put a period at the end of an abbreviation. Now, let's look at this. Mr. is the title of a man. Miss is the title of an unmarried woman. Mrs is the title of a married woman. And here's how we abbreviate these. Mr, remember abbreviate means to make them shorter. So instead of writing the whole word Mr, you can just write capital M R period. Now if you don't make this a capital and you don't put a period, it's not right. Now remember Miss, that means the young lady who is not married, it's MS period. And Mrs, someone who is married, a lady who is married, is spelled MRS period. So this would be like Mr. Turner. This would be like Miss Turner, someone who is not married, a young lady who is not married. This would be like Mrs. Turner. This would be like me. This, this title would go before my name because I'm married. Here's some other titles. Doctor. This is how we abbreviate doctor. Reverend. That's kind of another name for a pastor or a preacher. R-E-V period. Detective. Here's how you make that one shorter professor. Somebody who is a professor, a teacher at college maybe. That's how you abbreviate each one of these. Okay, it's very important that you know these. Now, we can abbreviate titles related to our government. So, somebody who is a judge in our government, you would call them the Honorable, whatever their name is. If his name is John Smith, you would say the Honorable John Smith. So if you wrote it down, his name, Honorable John Smith, you would put this before his name. That's his title. Honorable means usually that they're a judge. A senator. A senator is someone who represents his state. We have two senators in the state of Texas. Do you know who they are? Senator Ted Cruz and Senator uh, John Cornyn. Those are our senators. And so you would put this abbreviation before their names. Now, here's representative. That's a long word. Well, in order to abbreviate that, you do it R-E-P. It has to be a capital R. It has to, all these have to have periods. Now, a representative is someone who also represents their state. And we have a whole lot of representatives in Texas. I couldn't begin to name them all. And president like President Trump. President would go before his name. And so this is how you would abbreviate that. Now, what about someone that's in the military? Maybe in the Air Force, or in the Army, or the Marines, or the Navy. Maybe they're a captain. This is how you would abbreviate captain. And a general is this way. And a sergeant is this way. These are all the ways that you abbreviate. Now, you're going to need to keep this page close by. Let's turn to this page. Now, let's read what the instructions say. Can you read it out loud? Copy the abbreviation. It's a hard word for each title. Okay, so the first one. So, it gives us the word and we're going to have to look back at our page and see what the abbreviation is. So the first one is Mr. Do you remember what the abbreviation for Mr. is? If you don't look back, Mr. is 
this. So we have to write this on our page. Now make sure you use an uppercase M. Everything has to be uppercase. And an R. And what comes at the end of it? A period. If you forget the period, it's not right. All right. Number two is miss. Do you remember what miss is? How about this right here? M S period. Let's do this. M S period. Good. Do you remember Mrs. M R S period. Make sure you write these down correctly. We have to be able to read it. Okay, I'm going to help you with one more. What about doctor? How do you abbreviate doctor? It's this right here. DR period. Okay, good job. Now, your job is to finish writing all of these. Look back at your page if you're not sure. Make sure you write them correctly because I'm going to give your mom a note to make sure that she checks this page really well, okay? All right, and when you're finished, I want you to practice your spelling words and do your reading. And that's all for today.